Uh, what's your name again? Gabriel. Okay, which prison did they release you from? Winneba Prison. Winneba Prison. This is one of the humble guys that have been in Winneba Prison. How long have you been in that prison before I came there? Three, three years. Three years and uh, how long were you sentenced? Six, six years. Six years. Yeah. This is my young brother supposed to be in that prison for six years and we came there, Bounding Grace Foundation did a program and God granted this in, in mercy. He came out, he has been following me up on Facebook, right? You have been contacting me on Facebook and then today he called me and he said he wants us to meet. He has a need. What was the need you say you have? He asked for 300 CDs for mattress and as God may have it, with your help, we have given him the 300 cities today, so he is going to buy his mattress. Somebody have helped him to pay his house so that uh, he can have a place to stay and serve the Lord because he's a changed man in the prison. And it, it makes me so happy because when we are touching life like this, it gives me full joy. Now we are all together with one of my daughter. Uh, can you come out please, my daughter? Uh, what's your name? Helena. How long have you been following me on Facebook? More than four years now. More than four years, Helena has been following me on Facebook. She has never seen me before, so she saw that I came to Kumasi. She endeavored to come to the prison. All of them followed me today inside the prison. So what is your experience? Please, Helena, talk to us. What's your experience? I'm, I'm very blessed today. I'm, I'm, I'm very blessed. All that, that's all I can say. I'm blessed. I'm very blessed. Is it your first time of going inside the prison? Yeah, this is my first time. So how do you feel when you saw the holy meds, everybody? How do you feel? I felt for them, it's like, it was very sad experience, but I thank God for their life. I know with this message, some of them will be used by God's grace. Amen. Amen. Okay, my brother, what do you, I mean, you were a prisoner, now you are coming inside prison, when you were sharing your testimony, or when you saw them in that condition, now that you are outside, how do you feel, what's your experience, how does it feel to be one that come to talk to them today, minister to them today? I was sad. The moment I entered there, I came out from there, but the moment I entered there today, I was sad. Child. And I pray for God to grant them all their heart desires so that they will be one day outside as I am. And I also ask God to give them everything, every need that they want. They want people to come from outside to come and help them. Mm. There are some people there that they want to pay their fine for them. There are some people there, they are innocent about their case, but they are not getting the help. So we are praying and ask the dignities to come and help them so that they will also be released mm. through the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for coming. So anyway, now you have gotten your, you have gotten your 300 to go and buy your mattress. Abounding Grace Foundation are the one that gave you, not me. There are so many people that are supporting us, sponsoring us. So what do you have to say to those that gave you the 300 today, Abounding Grace Foundation? What do you have to say to oh, them? What I will say to Abounding Grace Foundation is that God should help them, God should bless them. They should multiply everything that they have been spent on me. They should multiply it in food for them. And then they should grant their heart desire for them. And then God should give them the long life so that they can get strength to do the work that they have been portraying to do. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Your name once again. Gabriel. Ajimayo. Gabriel Ajimayo. It's nice meeting you. I'm so glad and delighted and I'm bold to say that Abounding Grace Foundation is doing amazingly well. And without you on our side, we cannot be able to do all these things. Every work we are doing and what we have achieved in the prison today, this is our 193 visit, visited prison, no, our 192 visited prisons all over the world. We are going to the next prison now. I don't know where the place, I don't know what the taxi driver is going to lead us to the place. When we get there, we do what God asks us to do and we pray that somebody will be blessed as well. So I'm going to go and check my ATM. If there's any little money left there, we're going to pull it out to do the remaining work that we have to do today. We also gave them 300 CDs today in the prison here to be able to buy drugs. We buy them biscuit and drinks as well. Pray for them. Everything that's supposed to be done, we have done it today based on our capacity. We don't have much money, so we couldn't do more than we have done. So we are believing God there's some money left in my account so I can be able to pull it out when we get to the bank now. So we can be able to buy drinks and they help the other prisons. And then the last prisoner might not be able to make it, but except if money comes in, 
If money comes in, I will go to the last prison tomorrow. If not, I'll be travel back to Nigeria. May God bless all of you, my sponsor, my sponsors and my supporters. God bless you all. Say bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. God bless you. Driver is saying bye bye to you all too. God bless you. It was a wonderful time in Ghana. Ghana is a beautiful place. I love Ghana. I think I'm going to change my place. I'm going to find a place to live in Ghana. So all of you start to look for apartment for me, okay? I'm going to move over to Ghana. Even if it's one mattress, I put on the floor. Amen. Amen. What did you say? Oh, that's my beautiful daughter here, Helene. She said that she will accommodate me in my house.